275 and 285. Also in stereo on VHF, this is National Radio 1. This is Thomas Vance here, and welcome once again to the Friday Rock Show. Tonight, we repeat our session by Angel Witch, and we broadcast the first ever session by a band called Moore, who can hardly afford to gig, have no record contract or management, but they sound absolutely great. And now we turn to a bunch of people who literally are, if you like, out on a limb. They have no management, no nothing, in fact, except a bit of talent. It's five guys, Kenny Cox, Paul Todd, Brian Day, Frank Darch, and Paul Day, and they call themselves more, and this is them for the first time on radio. <laughs> to our session from more.
something from our session by Moore, the first day in time that ever been on the radio. The track we played was Soldier. And I've got a communication here from Moore, and it says, Tommy Vance, here's some more information. Please read as printed. It's psychologic, you know. Moore, the atomic rock band, are a five-piece band who've been together in the present lineup for roughly eight months. The band are Paul Cuppity Day on vocals, Kenny the Mad Axman, God Cox on guitars, Frank Darch on drums, and Paul Tilly Todd on guitars, and Brian Act Normal Day, no relation on the bass. Anybody who's seen the band live will know that they are an exhilarating live act out to destroy with their unique stage show, Catch Em If You Dare. More have no real management and they'd love a record contract. Are you listening out there, record companies? They'd like to thank all those people who've helped them, including Peter Hinton and Saxon for their advice, good band Saxon, and of course Jimmy the Tyrant Norcott, without whom all this would not have been possible. Not to forget Debbie, the tyrant's wife. Hello to Rita, Lorraine, Alan and Denny for the plug. Watch the future. Heavy metal lives. It's 11.25. <laughs>
heard The Last Offering from Moore, our session band of the evening, who are doing their debut on radio. And incidentally, they're going to be doing a couple of gigs in and around London. They will be at Oscars, wherever that is, on the 27th of May, which is next Tuesday, and at Crackers, which is in Wardour Street. That's on the 28th of May on Wednesday. And I do hope they get a break through and via this broadcast that they did tonight, because we really believe in them. They're marvellous musicians, good entertainers, and they really deserve to get a record contract. More, we wish you well. And that's it for this edition of the Friday Rock Show. Can I tell you about tomorrow's programme, which is called Rock on Saturday, between 4 and 7.30 in the afternoon? We've got Brian Ferry, Peter Gabriel and Quartz, and a load of good music between 4 and 7.30. I'd like to say a very special thank you to Sue Drum, who is our programme secretary, who works so hard. Our engineer tonight was Nigel. Thank you, Nigel. Next week on the Friday Rock Show, the repeat of that amazing set put together by the Scorpions at Reading last year. Not to be missed. Speak oh, wise one. I knew you'd enjoy more. They're good, aren't they? They really are. I hope yeah. some record company is having an earwig and they give them, give them a contract. Deserve a contract. I'm Tommy Vance in London. And wherever you are, we wish you the very best of luck, really. Good night and God bless.